Hey, what's up, people? Hit that like button. Remember, the like button is equivalent to the respect button, so make sure you hit it. Uh, one thing that jumps off the page about Kelvin Joseph, when you look at it, he has a knack for jumping routes. He watches the quarterback probably more than most corners. Sometimes that gets him into trouble, but for the most part, you're getting a guy who, uh, if we're getting pressure, uh, won't allow a quarterback to get to those hot reads because he's all over anything short. Falls for pump fakes at, at times, and you'll see that later on in the film uh, due to that. But it's feast or famine. Like, you know, you, you want a guy that's going to be willing to take some risk sometimes because, you know, sometimes they look like this, you know, they turn into pick sixes. So you'll notice that about uh, Kelvin. He's very feisty. Uh, he likes to uh, get his hands on the ball, sort of like uh, Trayvon Diggs as well. Has very good ball skills, receiver like ball skills. Um, sometimes he breaks on the ball better than the receiver does. And um, he actually. I uh, was covering Smith, Alabama Smith. Um, I think it's Devontae Smith. Uh, he was covering him stride for stride. Got himself an interception, was right in his hip pocket. But you'll see, sometimes he's willing to use his athleticism a little bit more than technique, and it gets him into trouble because he'll turn his hips or get into his break a little bit late, and then he'll wind up grabbing or getting beat because of that. And it's not because he, he can't cover the guy. It's because... He's so used to being that much faster or that much more athletic than his opposition that he, that he, he uh, lapses in his technique sometimes, relies a little bit too much on his uh, catch-up speed and his quickness. You know what I mean? But he'll work on that. I think he needs to be a little bit more patient when it comes to uh, jumping routes and um, at times and um, a little bit more, uh, a little quicker when he's playing off to get into his... Um, into his back pedal because he, he, he hesitates because he's looking to jump everything that's short so he gets bit on those pump fakes, stuff like that. He will come down and hit you. Uh, the guy likes to hit. You know, he will come in and, and pop you in the mouth. He's six one, I think, 200 pounds, give or take. So that's good size to him. Not afraid to hit running backs. Doesn't care. He will come down and hit you. So I like that about him. I don't think you're going to get a guy that's like shying away from contact or a guy that's like not going to help in the run game. That's definitely his forte he wants to hit so um although cheeto isn't here anymore we still i don't think we're losing anything when it comes to his tackling ability this is him versus smith now you see like perfect he gets it he's a little bit he gets a little aggressive at the top of routes but you see he turns and locates the ball gets himself in position sort of like etches uh smith out of the screen and, and gets himself an interception like he has crazy ball skills and when he's playing off you'll notice on this play even he's looking underneath even though he's deep, he's looking underneath. Like he's covering the route over the top in cover three, but he sees this all the way through. He's looking through the receiver. He's about to peel back, and um, this is uh, Kadarius, Kadarius, uh, I forget, Davis, I think his last name is. But uh, peels back, he was looking for a hit on him, a good hit on him, but he, uh, you know, he had to settle for you know, that little push out of bounds. But you can see that he's on it, like he's paying attention. And, I mean, that's really all you can ask for in these types of routes. He's looking to jump this route underneath. Um, and this is what I mean by he baits uh, quarterbacks and kind of uses his athleticism to um, bait them into throwing opportunistic throws for himself. Uh, and he does this all the time. Um, he usually gets called for these, and I think he's going to get called for this one. He gets called for these fade routes because while he's locating the ball, he usually like gives a good punch to the receiver's chest. And I noticed that's his style. Like He gets a little aggressive at the top of routes. And he has, he, has, he just have to stop doing that. Like like I said before, that's the only thing that I would say, um, you know, gets him in trouble. Right here, you, get, you see his eyes get him in trouble because he's looking to jump those underneath routes. And then sometimes he grabs at the top of routes. That's most young quarterback, I mean, cornerbacks, though. So I think they'll coach that right out of him. I don't look at him as glaring problems. It's just showing some of the things he struggled with when I was watching the film, just being honest. Uh, here's an example of his athleticism saving the day, right? See right here, he gets turned out, about, out out, and he doesn't turn and run until late. If this guy's faster than him, he doesn't make this play, but he knows he's a fast kid. So he's able to turn, bad technique though, but he's able to turn and run this down because he's that fast. So that's an example of his athleticism outweighing his technique there. That was probably bad technique, but great athleticism. He showed, his, showed the ability to recover. Uh, but he does it all the time. So here he is, you know, biting for the biting on his pump fake. But the pressure saves him on this play because I think they got themselves a sack on the quarterback. Uh, but that pump fake right there. See, once the quarterback's on to the fact that he's like hyped, jumping that backfield, they 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 kind of bait him into certain things. 
Um, this was the play action that kind of drew the linebacker help that he had inside away from him. But again, uh, his technique, he, he, he lets this uh, wide receiver get inside him and uh, it's easy touchdown, really. Um, although he was supposed to get help underneath inside from that linebacker who got bit, who bit on that play action. It's still, you know, that was one of the I'm not here to like make fun of him, though. But, you know, that's what it is. You got beat on that one. And, and that happens. It's going to happen. So that's I put that in there just to show like these are you know the true uh coverage examples of him. right here i don't think he should have got called for that pass interference because he did turn and locate the ball i think both of them were kind of gliding out of bounds but got called there this is him in press man or at least a press man look pre-snap and you'll see his ball skills are crazy like he this is the same way it was when he covered smith down the sideline and, and got himself an interception it's like he's in better position in most cases uh when he does it right uh, than the receiver and he does that quite often at least two or three times a game and he doesn't get thrown at that often so those opportunities are like he's always ready put it that way because they don't throw at him he follows the uh, the top threat usually unless he's playing a team like Florida where they have threats everywhere and then they just move him around like a chess piece but um, has the ability to play in zone as well as, as you can see they covered all three guys and then kind of drifted to help his man out um, keeps his feet in you can see that toe tap swag right there I, I hate saying that now actually but hey i said it uh but but like i said I, I like the kid kelvin i think that we got a first round talent in him i think the the, the knocks on him is his, his lack of experience he was a sophomore when he came out um he, he did have to take 2019 off due to his red shirt year for transfer um i don't think he's going to be an issue as far as his rap is concerned or anything like that um i think he just has to be uh coached up he's a young guy and uh he has nothing but potential if we can kind of sew up some of his little uh, when you don't start his, uh, tripping his hat. Call me a racist, but I don't mean, nigga, Make sure you guys hit that like way. button. I, I mean it as a general Please. term for ignorant motherfucker. Anybody of any race can be an ignorant motherfucker. Kill everybody. There you go.